Welcome to the channel PK2023. Hope everyone has a good time watching our videos. Chelsea's owners now admit sacking Thomas Tuchel might have been wrong, and that hiring Graham Potter was overcompensating in a string of mistakes. But Todd Bowley and company believe keeping Marina Granovskaya was politically impossible. The Chelsea owners have accepted that they might have made a mistake in sacking Thomas Tuchel last September, it can be revealed. Tuchel, 49, an enormously popular manager among the players and supporters, was sacked just a matter of games into the co-ownership tenure of Todd Bowley and Clear Lake Capital. It followed an extensive summer rebuild, in which the likes of Raheem Sterling, Mark Cucurlan and Wesley Fafana all arrived for significant transfer fees. Graham Potter was hired almost immediately after, though his reign lasted barely seven months before he was sacked last month. Though the relationship with Tuchel was never going to work long term, in retrospect it is accepted that it might have been better to retain the German coach for a season for a more orderly transition. But as new owners, they wanted to get on with a fresh era as quickly as possible. Having dismissed Tuchel, with relations pretty bruised on both sides, there is a feeling that they overcompensated in appointing Potter because he was so adept at working the executives and owners. Chelsea's owners are said to still rate Potter and feel he may yet prove himself at a top club but the team's form ultimately had become so bad they felt they had to intervene and change track. The effect of the sanctions on the Roman Abramovich regime was more debilitating than has been commonly appreciated. They directly led to the departure of Antonio Rudiger and left the club playing catch-up in many areas. Though the new owners were criticized for dismissing Abramovich's transfer negotiator Marina Granovskaya, it became apparent it was politically impossible to keep an executive so closely tied to the sanction Abramovich, given the war in Ukraine. Petr Sek might have stayed but made it clear he wished to leave when Granovskaya was going. An early approach to have former Liverpool transfer guru Michael Edwards in charge for the summer fell through because of family commitments, meaning they were initially left without expertise. It is insisted the bully never wished to step into that breach as interim sporting director and is now delighted to have stepped back to allow Stewart and Wynne Stanley to lead. The club are on the verge of appointing former Tottenham manager Maurizio Pochettino to take over in the summer with the Argentine certainly aware of the task on his hands. Pochettino will bring assistant Jesus Perez with him as well as his usual coaching team but will not start officially in the role until the end of the season. Pochettino and the club sporting directors Lauren Stewart and Paul Wynn Stanley are discussing the squad improvements that need to be made, with a striker, midfielder and a goalkeeper to be signed in the summer, despite the need also to sell surplus players to balance the books. Chelsea currently sit 11th in the Premier League table on 43 points. Should they lose another match this season, it would equal the 1997-98 campaign in terms of most losses across a league season. Speaking after his side's 2-2 draw at Stamford Bridge, Lampard once again bemoaned this team's passiveness on the ball. The second half was ours, control of the game was ours, obviously, in terms of possession. But in the first half we weren't dynamic enough in the top end of the pitch, he said. Everything we spoke about at the start of the game, it was too slow. Unfortunately, it seems to be intrinsic here at the minute where we play a lot of passes but they are not to break lines or to threaten the opposition in the top end of the pitch. It was a kind of a shock. I I felt it strangely enough. I felt it in the morning when I drove, drove to the training center that the, the meeting we will have will be a bit of an unusual meeting. And it was a very short meeting in the morning after the Champions League match, like at eight o'clock or something. So it was a three to five minutes meeting. I was also not in the mood to talk longer to the decisions makers. I have to say, honestly, it was a shock for all of us. We had the feeling that we are in the right spot at the right time um, to achieve big things and, and to, to, to build, um, uh, to stay longer, as easy as that. And uh, we had uh, big relationships, huge relationships within the staff still. And um, how long did it take to get over it? It, it still 
hurts in a way like not to see these people on a daily basis because like i said it before i love this job i have the passion and i can tell you like uh, the week here was very demanding but there's no funnier place than a than a dressing room and then a, a football stuff it's 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 so much laughing it's so much joy it's so much good jokes and and um and that what uh, that is what i miss the most because we build an extraordinary bond because also of the circumstances we started during covid in brexit then came the change of ownership so we were a strong 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 group in the training ground and um, it was not in my hands to take a decision i was uh, i was no longer part of of this kind of group and it felt like a family so now i found a new um uh, a new uh, um how do a new challenge thank you I found a new challenge. I'm happy to, to, to be in a very, very ambitious big club back and uh, straight away I, I feel the energy from, from all professional departments that we have here, from all the spirits. The club has huge power, can develop a huge power and has a great energy within because it's professional people, it's friendly people and straight away you have the, you have the energy, you have the jokes, you have the laughing that you only have in a dressing room and around the dressing room and that's what gives me a lot of joy and energy. And did you, did you have um, um, many messages from the players after you left? I um, have. Yeah, and I still have a, a, a good bond with the players, of course, and we still text and we have uh, many messages. And still, I, I found a lot of friends in the in the in the Chelsea training centre, and this will this will not end because uh, because of a new job. It will be a bit more difficult to keep in to keep in touch and to see each other because I was uh, um, um, around and we had the opportunity, of course, to meet each other. Um, but um, the friendships will stay.
Thank you for watching our video. Please subscribe channel, comment and sharing our videos.